What's going on guys, Prodigy here, back with another video. I know it's been like a month since I last uploaded, but that's because YouTube kind of went in the shitter with the whole ad thing, and I just didn't really have any creative ideas to go and talk about anything, and I didn't really want to do gameplay because a lot of people aren't going to really enjoy that. I mean, if you look at Sly Fox Houndy, he wants to go and do Let's Plays and stuff, and it's just not really going that well from him, from considering, like, you know, how it, how it used to be in the past. So the reason I want to go and talk about feminism right now is because a lot of people are talking about it and I don't know, I just wanted to go and give my own input on it. I I'm basically just going to say uh, the, the fucking obvious that everybody else here knows. I'm just going to say the obvious, um, what everybody else thinks about it, but just say it in my own way. So what happened recently is VidCon happened and I'm sure every everybody knows what happened at VidCon. If you don't, basically this Anita Sharkisha. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, sure, I know her name's not Sharkisha, but I'm, we're gonna keep it at Sharkisha. Anita Sharkisha is a, a known uh, feminist, and basically is an asshole to everybody online, and uses her own uh, agenda, tries to push her own agenda for pretty much everything that's good, and she tries to push her own agenda, which instead of all equality is just women um, wanna be... Uh, ten times better than everybody else apparently um, and they want to just make any any white person like myself uh, be be slaves pretty much they want to enslave all the white people all the regular uh, average fit white people uh, and so anyways what happened is at VidCon Sargon of Akkad, I'm Alex and a bunch of other youtubers like Joey Salads went there just to go and see her presentation they wanted to go and just you know see her points of view and everything and ask her a few questions and if you see the videos they didn't say anything really opposing her they just asked like um you know why why do you say women deserve much better and why not everybody deserves much better why, why does she say that and then she basically called them a garbage human being for saying that and i, I don't know i might add a clip here from all lazy or whatever but basically she just went and just she saw these people here, and then she just like, oh, they're they're just garbage human beings, just for them being there, which they're paying customers. I know everybody says this. They they paid to go and be there, a Sargon of Akkad and all of them. They paid to go and see, to to go to go to VidCon and everything. And it actually goes against VidCon's uh, terms of use to go and, you know, single out people or you know verbally abuse them. And the funny thing is, this was actually at an abuse like convention, thing part of it. And she was basically abusing people when she was talk, when she was trying to talk about how abuse is bad and everything. And so, not only that happened, she also bullied uh, Boogie, and he Boogie made a video basically acting like a pussy and uh, getting stepped all over by her. And then he made a response video saying, "Look, I got stepped over by her, but it's all right. I still got what I wanted to say across." But he did say that he's a white cis male and everything, and it's very embarrassing, really embarrassing. I, I watched his whole video on it, I watched Rag's video on it, and basically, Boogie, I'm, I'm ashamed in Boogie. Boogie, you know, he he tells the reason, his reasons why, and he says that he has all these problems and everything, but even still, you, you know, you have to go and edit that. You have to actually think twice about something, so I, I don't know what he thought about that. But basically, I think that feminism was good in the past. And I, I still think it's good, you know, in other countries that aren't America. Because America, everybody's fucking equal. You can, I, I don't care what you say. You live in a fucking house. You live in a trailer. At least you have something. You don't live in a fucking mud hut in, in the Sahara Desert. You don't, you don't do that. Arabic countries or whatever, they have to... Muslim countries, they have to go and wear those little towels on their fucking heads. They have to go and walk around like that. Um... In the Islamic State, where, you know, the terrorists are, women have to go and have another woman with them whenever they walk around. They, they're not allowed to go and show their face or anything. And and these people are just worried about, like, stupid shit in America. Oh, I, uh, 
A, a man cut me off in line. Oh, he walked in front of me. I'm waiting in Disney, and a, and a man just walked right in front of me. Oh shit! Oh shit! I uh, time time to go in the uh, go and make uh, YouTube videos about it. A million YouTube videos about it. Say white white male privilege. He just he just cut me off in line. Oh man! Oh man! I, I didn't I didn't get as much fucking rice and noodles at this Asian restaurant. Oh man! White privilege. White privilege. It, it's such a joke nowadays, and I, I don't care really. I. The, the, the people that are actually suffering in these countries, the people here in the United States, or fucking England, and all these other places, they they just these feminists, uh, they just they're just not needed now. They, like in the past, it was it was good. They they were needed in the past because they wanted equal paying like wage. They wanted you know basically fair treatment because in the past you know a lot of men would come home they, they drink and they fucking beat the shit out of their wife we, we we learned about that in school and like history books and everything and that's why prohibition happened but that that's when feminists were, were needed but nowadays it doesn't happen because you can just go to the cops i i think fem uh, like women have more rights than men do in, in society nowadays if a if a man says that he was raped by a woman come on well is that is anything actually going to happen most of the time, 9 out of 10 times, no, nothing's gonna happen. But if a woman said that um, to a judge about a man, a man raped me, then 9 out of 10 of the times that man is gonna go to prison, even if he didn't. So, moral of the story is uh, feminists, you could go and fuck off, go to, uh, go to Afghanistan, go there, you don't belong here in America, and fucking die. Bye.